reacting to Steve's comments right there. And, and, and if, that, if this marks the end of normalization, does that mean that the bar has just gotten even higher for future cuts? I think I agree with uh, Steve first and foremost. I think he nailed it uh, exactly. And it was a mid-cycle adjustment because they overshot neutral. And the most interesting thing to me in a short-term basis is that Chair Powell said he thinks they're a little bit below uh, neutral right now. They're accommodative, uh, which I think is solidifying the notion that neutral is effectively the policy rate equaling the inflation rate or zero real. Uh, but the point that uh, Steve was making, I think, is the real home run here, is that it's a one-way bet until inflation is above 2 percent and materially above 2 percent. He's not going to ease any more, but when you're looking at it as a portfolio manager, you think in terms of the distribution of risk, and there's no risk in the foreseeable future of hikes, and there's risk on the downside if he does a material reassessment of the outlook. So I think that Chair Powell did a fantastic job of saying we're in a good place and we're going to stay in a good place unless we do a material reassessment of the outlook. So effectively saying we're not looking at noise. Stop looking at noise yourself. Diana, what's your take now as to, to what comes next based on what he said there? Is December still in play or are we looking into next yeah, year? Yeah, I think I would have liked to see a little bit more emphasis on data dependency because what we got was an emphasis on trade talks, on Brexit, things that are very fluid and could turn around on a dime as we've seen several times this year. Now, removing the possibility of further cuts um, in the near term and saying we're at an accommodative stance is actually a fairly dangerous place for the Fed to be. Last year, the market thought the Fed were behind the curve when stresses emerged. The economy is not looking that robust. You have the ISM manufacturing, non-manufacturing is starting to turn over. The pace of job gains has been slowing down considerably. Durable goods orders are slowing down, implying the pain for the manufacturing sector is far from over. Now, the Fed should have been emphasizing a little bit more that the macro data still drives. There is an optionality to cut trade, whereas I think what they did today was they sold that optionality by focusing on trade and Brexit. David, what's your take as to, to, to whether or not uh, we're ever going to see a reversal of the rate cuts we've seen, even if trade is sorted, global growth is sorted? Well, I think he, uh, he laid it out. It's really an inflation story, and, and Steve is right. Once he said that, I think he really he sort of took this idea that we could be raising rates or unwinding some of this mid-cycle uh, adjustment for Brexit reasons or for reasons related to international trade. And I think, you, you know, you came into this meeting with people thinking there was going to be a, a, a hawkish cut. So that was sort of a, a bit of a worry on how hawkish he would be and whether there would be a mistake in being a little too hawkish. And the initial, the initial shot of taking out the act appropriately language probably got people on edge. And that's why we saw the dollar rally up a bit and maybe the uh, S&P not rally very much. And I think it went down for a little while. But, um, you know, once he, he sort of started talking and really telling you, hey, this is this inflation problem, it's a big deal. And we're not we haven't hit it for a long time in terms of our two percent target. And we've got to really materially be above it to start thinking about raising rates uh, at any point in time. So really, I think it is, as Steve said, kind of a, a one way deal here. Either we're going to get cuts because things slow down and the inflation continues to disappoint. Or we're just going to sit here and kind of grind it out a little bit as we watch some of the international issues uh, resolve themselves.